Hey, Wiz Nation, Wizards fans, how's it going? How's it going? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Camingo. Summer League has come to a close, but we're talking about the Wizards, the Wizards Summer League. But th there were some positive and some negative, but we didn't win Summer League. I better than win because the Rocks we had, but I was I was impressed by by most players, but. We're going we're going to dive into not all the players but some players who impress who who impressed me and not impressed me. Also we're, we're going to talk about the Wizards the Wizards off season as well. So we ain't going to take long but let let's get started. Now we're going to talk about some players first. The first player I want to talk about certainly is Tristan of uh, Tristan Fukovic. He played only one game I laid one, one game. And when I was watching him, he, he, I said, I said, Will Dawkins is smart to get, make him a two, two a player because he was not, he, he, he didn't look, look, look good. So he, he that's why he's going to be in G League to begin with. So I, so I figure why Will Dawkins made him a two a player instead of giving him a, a, a standard two year, three, three year con contract. Because he was getting work in that one game we played the Rockets, like if he played a full a full year last year, if he came, played in the beginning of the year last year, we played overseas, and who knows he probably we probably get, gave him a a, a a contract, but he got some work to do. So so I believe in you, Vooch, but you got a lot of work to do if, if you want to belong in his league. Now let's get to another player. He played two games. Let's get to let's get to. Johnny Davis, he did average 13 half points a game, no, no, no two games, six rebounds, and shot f over 50% from, from the field. He, he did look pretty impressive, but, but I, I'm still my puzzle. Why are you playing assembly and it's your, about to be your third NBA season? Usually, your max is two and, and not, not three, but he, he, to me, he should have been in, in that deal when he traded Danny Adia, in my opinion. I like Johnny, but but he got some work to do because he ain't gonna last long in the Wiz uniform that long. But I was slightly impressed, and especially in that first game where he looked off in the first half, but and and got it going in the second second half. But like I said, Johnny, like like if I means not for long. So let's get to another player. He was arguably our second best play. Player in the summer league, let's go to Justin Champagne. I'm like he might earn a Ross, he might earn a Ross Ross spot. Hopefully roster or or two way because he he was a two way player last year and this year. There was one game against the Rockets where he he almost he literally almost like brought us back back in the game, I believe. But he did pretty good. He shot third. He he averaged thirteen in games. Averaged six boards. Shot a high. He shot. 56% from the field. He was very efficient. Like, taking smart shots, getting to the bas basket. So, he's going to be... He can be another another two-way two -way, two -way player. Man, we got all these two-way two guys in, that, in, case, in case of injuries. You know what I'm saying? Now, another guy that impressed me, especially last two games, especially the last game, is it Tyler or Taylor? Isn't it Taylor Funk? Like he was knocking down threes after three after three. I'm like, this kid can shoot. Cause he, hopefully, hopefully we we bring him back for for training camp and preseason to basically earn earn himself a roster or or a two A player. But if he's not a roster. He's gonna spend time in in, in a G in a G league. But hopefully he will we'll give him a, give him us us give him a, another chance to pl to play with us. We'll see. Cause he that's a ex extra shooter. Right there for us. Now, now, let's get into our three, our three, our three rookies. Let's start with my guy Keish, Keyshawn George. Now, while watching him play, he kind of reminds me of of Tayshawn, Tayshawn Prince, the way he the way he playing defense. Cause I see him getting chase down blocks, face up blocks. He was efficient, efficient shooting basketball twos and threes. He shot forty seven percent from, from three. He he he's ever, he did I know he averaged nine almost ten ten a game, but he did show flashes what 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 he can do. 
There was one play where I think he he hurt his ankle or whatever and came came back on D and got a block. I'm like, this kid got hard. This kid got Matt Hart. Way he shoot shoots. It is it is smooth. I'm like, he has he has some he has some good upside. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I really like the, like this kid. But I hopefully he'll, he'll get some 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 playing time with us because this kid has shown me something that we found our backup small four on this roster this upcoming year. So Keyshawn, keep doing your thing, bro. Now let's get into the MVP of our Assembly League. Well, not MVP Assembly, but for our team, Mister Bub Carrington. Now there was hype around when we drafted him because he he is from the DMV, but this kid is a baller. He is a dog. Like that last game, we had fifteen rounds as a six five guard. I'm like, we found uh, he's gonna get the backup for now, but he he could be the point guard of the future. He just turned nineteen a, a, a couple of days ago, but this kid has the has the there was a one video he's mic'd up. He is very vocal for a guy that, uh, yep, as young. He, he's trying to make a name or something that he's going to be a star in, in, in his league. His stats average 15 a game, almost 16 points a game, 7 4 rebounds, 5 or 2 assists. He did everything. He can score, rebound, pass, defend. He did shot low percent. He shot 30 percent, which was, was awful. But I really like this, like this kid. Really like him. He's gonna be, he's likely be our six or seven man on the t- on the team. But wh- when he comes in, he's gonna contribute right away. He kind of reminds me of a of a young Tyrese Maxey when when he, when he came to, came to the league, where he has some he has some some good leadership some, and a, a good product in the future. And look at Maxey now; he's an all star. So hopefully, Buck turns turns into that in, in the future. And now. We're gonna get to the one guy that I ha- that every Wizards fan has concerned of, but not me because it's Emily. Let's go into Alex Sar. Yeah, that guy. He had a promising first ge- first game, but that third game when he went over fifteen and over ten for three, everyone was like, "He's gonna be a bust." And I was like, "Pump the brakes." I really like Sar, but I I said this when I'm watching him. His offense needs work. He's not a He's not a jump shooter yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? He he can't shoot, but he did show some. But his defense is elite. He he is a defensive guy. He can guard one through four, but but center's not yet. He's he's, he's got to get bigger if he wants to guard guard a center. He's not ready to guard guys like B, Jokic, Wimbayama, and all 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 those the, those players. But his defense is legit. But his offense, he he's an underrated passer. No, no, no talk about. There was some game he had like three, four, five assists. So he he showed where uh he can uh he can uh do other things other than the, the, the score though. Cause like cause to me points aren't everything. You think you got score to be, be in, in in his league, but he is a legit defender. Cause we know that game we was over set fifteen whatever. He was still uh he's still productive on the court. He did get like nine rebounds and, and three block shots. So he's still trying to find more more ways to 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 to, to help a, t- a team win instead of just scoring, giving you fifteen and twenty, going crazy. Because that's not how how bad it works. Need scoring means everything. It's all about defense wins wins you game, and that's what Sar is going to bring. So I know Sar and this is it's similarly, but. I, I I can see him touching him if he gets his if he gets his jumper, co- 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 his jumper right, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be a really good player. I can, I can see the comparison. Keep it comparing to uh, Shaq Holmgren, Jaron Jackson Jr., but jump shooter wide. If I see offense, I can see him being like a Lamarcus Aldridge or KG t- type of guy. If he gets his jumper and gets bigger and and str- stronger in the future, the potential is there. But I know he can do it. So Wiz fan, I know Wiz are panic panicking right now because he was the number two pick overall and everything. But I believe in him. I believe that he that he, he can turn around once once the NBA begins. Because when NBA comes, it's gonna be hard because it's gonna be tough for him. 
but I think I believe he, he can do it once once he has the veterans around him like Poole, Kuzma, and and, and those, those guys are going to help him out. It's going to make life easier for him. And I know because similarly you're playing against uh some young guys who are trying to get get a job in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? But when he's around the uh, the team, the re- the real team, I think it's gonna be gonna be e- easy for him. But I know you can do a star. I believe in you. I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna give up on you just yet. Same thing last year when Wizards fans thought uh, Bilal was gonna be a bust last year. Look look he he, he turned he, he tur- turned to good but he didn't turn to a star. But he did show some some, some flash of what he can do. So it looks like what what Bilal does in year year two playing alongside with 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 Alex Star, but. Like I said before, I'm gonna say it again. Alex R, I trust you, bud. I trust you. Now let's 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 talk about uh before we get into the uh before we get into what we did in summertime, let's before somebody be kicked off, there was the uh talk about the new in the in scene tournament. It was last year, year one, and now we are paired up with, with four different different teams. Like last year. Last year we have Charlotte, New York, Milwaukee, and Miami last year. Now it's different. We were paired up with the Celtics, the Cavs, the Hawks, and the Bulls. Once I repaired to them, I I kind of clapped. I said, I love it. I love it. I love this group because we were we have playoff history against those those four teams. We played the Bulls in 05 in 2014. We played the Hawks in 15 and uh, 7, 17. We played the Cavaliers. You already know those three years with LeBron James in them. And, of course, the Celtics in 2017. So it's gonna be fun going going against those those four teams in the once the end season tournament again. We're gonna talk about that once the ske- once the schedule comes out. But but now let's talk about the the the, the, the our summer that we did. So far we we signed two t- t- two new players. We signed uh Jonas Valanciunas and Sadiq 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 Bay. Let's talk about the Jonas. I was really surprised when we got Jonas Valanciunas. I was like, really. And, and watching Alex Star Assembly, now I know why I'll be picked up Jonas because he's gonna help help uh, Sar uh, d- 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 develop. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna, he's gonna help him out, make, make it easier. Because we did sign Jonas to a three three deal, it could be tra- it's tradable, but not this year. But hopefully in the future when Sar gets better, but it's gonna, gonna, gonna uh, he's gonna ease off Sar and those re- rebounds and the putbacks and stuff. So Jonas is gonna help. It's gonna help help us out, cause because we need rebounding. Cause what was our weakness last year? Rebounding, but it, it did get better when we had Bagley and Holmes last last year. And those trades when we traded Gaffer away, it got better. But but getting Jonas and Sar in the summertime is gonna be it's gonna be a lot better this year. So I'm glad we picked up Jonas, cause we we need re- rebounding and getting second chance opportunities. Now about S- S- Sadiq Bay, I was very concerned. I'm like. Why we get Sadiq Bay? Isn't he injured? He had a torn, torn ACL. He did happen in March, but it was a a standard three, three deal. He he ain't gonna play until uh probably once twenty twenty five hits. But that tells me that Kispert's time is almost up as a wizard. It it tells me because Sadiq Bay he he can he can score the basketball. Then one game with him for Detroit, he's had fifty in the game one time, so. We we need scoring on our on our bench because we we, we literally got no scores on our bench. We got guys who are basically role players who can do who can, who can pass, rebound, shoot, whatever. But we need someone who can put the ball in the bucket from, from our bench, and we and we need that. So hopefully Sadiq will bring us that once we hit, we hit the new year when when twenty five five comes. So I like what we got in summertime, but we're not we're not a playoff team yet. But we 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 will see that once once the season hit. I always I always said this. I know people are saying we're gonna tank again, but if the players put it, put in the work in the summertime, then think things things can change. You never you never know. So next time with this fan, you'll see me again. Next time you'll see me is when the schedule comes out, or when uh you you know when uh some, some crazy crazy news happened, but. But the next big show with his fans, the schedule release. So stay tuned for that. It'll be in mid August. So we're gonna see. So that's it with his fans. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all know the deal. Follow me on Twitter at Kimingo, same Instagram. 
Wiz page, Twitter, at Wiz Uncle Nation, Instagram, Nation Uncle Wiz. Thank y'all. Peace.